手置きを見せてやる Alright, l so in this one, we are going to be using Rage Chunks. By the way, Saw Superhero, um, from now on, since I saw it, I'm going to be saying a lot of spoilers about it. And, uh, just gonna mention two things about it real quickly before we get into this one. Not motorcycles, good. It is a, a weekend, so I'm surprised there's no motorcycles, but got that resolved. Uh, Superhero, two things. One, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Again, I will spoil things. That pre build up of the ending scene with obviously Gohan doing the uh, special beam cannon, no, uh, Makan Kosopo, I believe it's called in Japanese. Obviously, Piccolo's move. That build up where Piccolo gets his fucking arm ripped off. He gets everyone goes in. They try to do shit. They all get knocked the fuck out. I assume they're all dead, by the way. I'm thinking Gotenks is dead. I'm thinking everyone's dead. It probably was a bold assumption to think that, but everyone looks dead as shit. Piccolo's just uh, getting brutalized like he's just, uh, I don't even know what you could call it. Just gets brutalized beyond belief and he's just like, no, let me keep getting my ass beat. That pre build up made the actual end of obviously Gohan, you know, killing Cell Max. Um, not as amazing as it could have been, but the pre build feels better than the actual you know, hype scene was meant to be. And then Gamma 2, man, he was so cool. I just remember one instance, one instance specifically, obviously, before the other things that are big and important. He almost tripped down the stairs, and then he jumped up, and he caught himself, and he did a pose after catching himself. He's so wholesome. And the man said, you know what? It's my time. I gotta try my best. He did end up helping in the end fight, which is good. It's good. But seeing him literally, like, pale and like dead i'm like oh like they barely cut to him being dead when he first died i was like he's not dead like gamma one went there when he got knocked out he had you know eyes faded off you couldn't see him he was fainted he wasn't dead he lived but gamma two it was just like no like oh it was so tough bro it hurt it hurt to watch gamma two because gamma two looks so cool that was the one spoiler i avoided how gamma two actually dies I thought it was that big scene where, like, Cell's about to punch the shit out of him. No, it was obviously from Game of Sacrifice scene. Hmm. It was so sad. And they barely referred to them as Game 1 and 2, which is weird. They said number 2, number 1. It was like, okay. <laughs> I like the name Game of 2. Like, stick with that. Put that in. Well, not Game of 2 anymore, but Game of 1. But, uh, Superhero, from my, at least, the first impression, uh, I watched the dub, by the way. Thought everything was great. Uh, the fighting... I would say in Broly movie, because you have to compare them, it's just how it is, was better probably, but the cohesiveness of like storyline and plots and how it's going to tie into things in the future or the past or things that already happened, like the uh, kind of mini fixes as well, like, oh, why are Goten and Trunks so small for so long? I wonder. Oh, well, Saiyans just kind of have a growth spurt out of nowhere, Gohan says, and it's like, I guess, but like, <laughs> you know, it was some bullshit stuff, but it did tie some holes that were there, like, that for example and obviously vegeta winning at the end after the uh movie you know ends the uh post credits there you go that that was that was a nice one to see obviously i wish we saw more of that fight but like that was a nice one to see and then they had a lot of ass shots of bulma yeah that she lie as well but bulma also i think i don't know if 18 had many i just remember there's a lot of, like they literally <laughs> one shot is just it's Bulma bent over looking for the dragon radar. It's like, okay, I guess. And then I like how they refer to uh, Piccolo as like different beings. Like, you know, the Demon King Piccolo, the Kamikola, or uh, Kami. Because obviously he like is part of these uh, beings of himself, right? With Kami being one of him, merged into one. Uh, DKP being, you know, his own self re-embodied into a different uh being of body i like how they reference that a lot and then gohan's like trust to piccolo to let him uh, essentially get his ass mauled in was it was something i was kind of like huh that's really the trust they still have and i was like yeah i kind of have to like go back like these motherfuckers been together for a while and their little bond and then pan pan was so fucking wholesome she was just adorable that was a great stuff it was i like 10 out of 10 for it, for everything in totality, but uh, probably would lower my rating over time if I rewatch. I'm probably going to rewatch it sub uh, in a few days, if not like a day here. But nonetheless, Rage Trunks, going to run him. Uh, yes, the androids are here because Trunks is Blast Base, and I did not know that till I started building this team. So 
It might be a little bit of a droid showcase. I'll try my best to not make it a droid showcase, but if it does end up happening... Oh well. <laughs> I won't complain about it. I don't know if you guys will, but I won't. Rage Trunks, though. Again, not really sure why I'm using him. I'm just going to use him. Uh, next video is also a uh, trash tier. Well, both defense type units. So, a uh, trash tier defense type unit. Stat wise in this trunks, very fucking high. 173, 169, uh, 247 blast, and 224 strike. Again, those defenses. I believe the free Maj Vegeta actually has worse defenses than uh, this trunks. I just saw something about it actually here a second ago, if I could find it. Yeah, the free. Oh no, not free Maj Vegeta. No. <laughs> What am I talking about? Well, does he? Actually, I could compare that. 173, 169. That's on that trunks. Who's second year anniversary, right? If I go to Vegeta Clan here, 173, 169. 173, 169. What is your... Where the hell are you? Hello? Oh, there you are. 173, 169. <laughs> he has worse defenses. Trunks is high defenses, yeah. Okay. Uh, Trunks, though, to go for his kid a little bit here. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. Use more blast base, obviously. Strike normal blast recovers key on the usage of the uh, blast starts. The blue card is a normal animation. A quick animation, rather. So you size up out of it. Plus, you use sub counter, 20 tower counts on hit. Green card does give you health back. Cancel and add your downgrades. And 50% damage afflicted, 50 tower counts. Then his uh, ultimate cancels enemy actual upgrades upon activation. So you have to use the ultimate to cancel those. Then destroys all enemy cards on hit. His main ability, draw the ultimate, get a uh, you know additional cut for himself there, 35% for 20 time counts, and then 60% damage inflicted, 15 time counts. His ability is blast second defense, G clan or future. Then how he works is damage inflicted against Gaki, damage inflicted against regen, and reduces damage received by 20%. Then when he has cover change, he reduces damage received by 30%, and assurance own sub count by 10 when enemy activates rising rush. The idea back then was he is so tanky, he lives a rush. So you just want to bring him in anyways. That was the idea. He doesn't have endurance or anything, but that was his idea. And then, boss characters on the battlefield flunks occur every time when hit with the enemy strike blast or blue card. He has damage inflicted up to 60% that cannot be cancelled. He buffs his allies damage inflicted Vegeta clan or future 25% uh, for uh, 25 timer counts for 10% and draws a green card, activates once. Then 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts every time another battle member is hit. So when he's hit, he's helping his team, helping himself. Obviously, he could peek out himself, but it helps himself. Obviously, he's also the tag of these, so he's getting these allied buffs, right? And then when his allies are hit, well, he's getting the inflicted for himself. So maybe he can ramp up to a sequence of being half decent. I'm doubtful, but I'm hopeful for it. Bench-wise, we do have uh, Yogo Kabak, I believe, is like blast defense. But <laughs> listen, I want to try to help the Trunks in as much as I can, so... He's Zenkai buffing the trunks. Fuck it. Uh, Green Goku Black, I believe, double attack and strike defense there. Mai's HP, Vegeta, strike attack and defense. Trunks is uh, blast attack and defense. Then Joy's are blast attack and defense. I believe, strike defense as their extra. Equip wise for Trunks, he is more of a tank unit, so I build him more defensively. Double defense, uh, base health, and health store there because he does heal on the green card. This one, blast defense, critical, strike attack, then pure blast up to 50% peak there. And then this one here. Blast defense, special shoot damage, old damage, and base help. With that being said, let's get into the matches and see how Rage Trunks... Does he have any alternate art? Oh. Turn. Can do in PvP! This match is USV on future. By the way, I'm just going to upload every match. Uh, one, I'm exhausted because I was out all day. And uh, two, why not? I feel like that's a good answer, right? Why not? That sucks, but do you have anything? Probably. No. Okay. Okay. PB? That's tough. That's unfortunate. I think I let Trunks come in here. Oh? Okay. Trunks has uh, all of his cut. Technically. Oh boy. <sighs> Surely you won't have a rush here, right? Oh, he's, he's eating this. He's eating this, hello? Please don't have a rush. Please don't have a rush. Okay, destroyed all my green cards. Got the heal though. Another PD? <laughs> well, you have no actual upgrades, I guess, so that's cool. I mean, we'll live. 
for type advantage. Uh, I mean, look at Trunks. He's taking hits. I know that's obviously 18 here, but still taking the hits. All right. Well, that ain't too bad, is it? <gasps> I misclicked in between the cards. I'm trolling. Well, Trunks, do your job. Tank the rush, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, he wants to tank the rush. Maybe he'll tank the rush here. I shouldn't have misclicked the butt. What are you gonna do? Oh, cool! Gaming! I can't do anything here. Look at my timer counts. Or, yeah, my, uh, my counts. My counts are dicked. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, now I can do something cool. Somebody's gone. I don't give a fuck who. Oh, you're back. Ah, shit. Well... How do I get drunk to do something in the Smash still? He was eating from 17, by the way. Great. He was eating hits from 17. I think it's like an 8-star droids. I mean, something more than nothing, right? Gotta take it where you can take it. This Trunks dad doesn't really matter at all to me. But uh, it's cool. Let's go. Okay, that works out. I'll just go for these strikes because Vegito, and I don't want to have to deal with him. So let's just go for strikes quickly. We could swap back relatively soon, right after this art here. Yep, and then we could keep going. Again, if it turns into a Joyce video, it's not my fault. I wish I could control it. I can't control it. I should have saved that green card. Fuck. I have a second rush. How the fuck? Hello? No, don't start lagging now. I'll wait. It's not like I'm using a good unit. Don't worry. Nice, nice. Um, hello? I can't. Why is it lagging? Stop! Stop! Hello? Caught you out, bestie. I really am a double. Am I this scummy? Business. Business moves. Business moves. <laughs> it's such a scummy fucking dog shit play from me. Uh, yeah. Listen, I just want to show off for each chunks, man. He ate! He ate! You know, first, I, I feel bad. Again, a part of me feels bad. It's not like the whole part, but it's a big part. Because, like, come on. I, I mean, it is Ultra Vegito, to be fair, but, like, you know, come on. Did I need to do that? Probably not. You know, honestly. Especially if you don't have a double rush here, I'd feel really bad, but you probably will have a double rush here, considering I did. I get. I guess the answer is you don't have a double rush there. I'm sorry. And that that's all. I uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is what you call a reroll account. Uh very low GG count. Uh, it's probably for an obvious reason of again a reroll. This guy got a lot of stars in MUI in the reroll account. And now this is your main account. Something like that. Something close to that. I don't know. Something similar. Wow, he has a lot of HP trunks. God damn. Hey, leave me alone. Hey, stop. Oh, good. A green card. I mean, I caught here, aren't I? Oh, I didn't. Great. I'll go for one more strike real quickly. Now you have only a strike cover change. I mean, you could go Tapion theoretically, but like, I don't think you do. I'll do this, and then I'll swap over. Not much else I can really accomplish in this sequence. Okay. Yeah, wait. When did Vegeta take all that damage? What happened? No, oh, well, shit. <laughs> Trunks, you might have to eat a big ultimate here. And I hope you could live it. I think he could fairly live this. I, I know it's MUI high stars, but like... He's a yellow on cover that wants to be on cover with the Zenkai buff? Yeah, he's, he's honestly vibing. I only took half from that? That's pretty fucking solid. Okay. Kind of shocked by that, but sure, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not gonna deny it. Alright, let's try to uh, tag out here as soon as possible, because I do have a Russian hand. Are you sure? Wait, <gasps> I'm a... Fucking moron! If I swap to 17 there, I take a lot less damage on this rush. If I kill him. I... 
2 a.m. brain. 2 a.m. brain. It's okay. I, this is all planned. Because now... Yeah, something. I, I genuinely... I Fuck! I'm a fucking moron. Well, now I can maybe catch him on a stop time event with my tag out. Oh my god, my HP! Trunks, how you doing back there? <laughs> Not too hot. God, Vegeta's at one. Leave me alone! He's gonna tap me. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you did that, but okie dokie. You're not gonna come? You're not gonna cover? Oh, okay, you are gonna cover. Can I get a green card? No? Yes? Maybe? I do. I did it in time! That's cap! Okay. He doesn't have main. He has to rush. Can't kill me in the combo. I think. He doesn't have any mains. He has to rush here. Okay. Trunks! <laughs> hey, do your job, Trunks. There you go. I don't know. Yeah, shocking to say it seems a little bit good <laughs> that I'm up against here. <laughs> okay. Not a green card. He doesn't have mains. I have to... I don't fucking know. I have to play like a god. And I'm not very good, so I don't know how this works. Yep, that didn't really work, did it? He probably has enough cards here, right? Does he? Probably. He drew a green, nice. Didn't he just do a green? Unlucky, what a situation to be in. It is what it is. Yeah, if I didn't make the dumbass play, again, I'm just a fucking moron sometimes. It's just how it is of killing with 18 on the Tapion. I probably would have won that match because Vegeta could have probably sniped out Dragon Fist and then boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's tough. Oh, well. Reroll accounts go crazy. What are you going to do? Can't wait till they're irrelevant in two months when MUI's off boost and he falls from uh, where he is to down, down, down below. Not too far, but like, he's going to fall off. <laughs> By Legends Fest, he'll be gone. Most like. Uh, objective. Oh, no, <laughs> that's not a fusion. That, that's MUI. <laughs> Silly me. Thinking it's a pure fusion team here. It's MUI on fusions. Oh, so I'm just going to be here, hoping for the best. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about how it's going to go. I'm, I'm not really going to do much. I'm going to hope for the best and let... Uh, all my other units do their work as uh, they want to do their work. It's very unfortunate, as Trunks really cannot help me anywhere in this situation. Gonna drop. Obviously, you'd swap there because I tagged out. Makes sense. Big math, big brains, all huge things. Didn't expect that one. I'll be real, but fuck it. Oh, why'd you go for something there? What? Goodbye! I'm very happy he went for something there, but I'm surprised. I know. This is a droid showcase! Uh, type it down below. I don't give a fuck. Alright? <laughs> if Trunks weren't... If Trunks weren't Blast Base, I wouldn't be using the droids. It's just that simple. Also, I wasn't really even planning on using this setup. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay. Oh, I really want to swap. I really don't. I just really just want to use... I really just want to use the good unit. Until someone's dead, at least. Like, give me some slack, guys. If MUI were dead, I would have swapped there. I can't promise that, but I could say that. And maybe it's kind of true. Kind of. I can't swap here. He locked me in. Oh my god, he went for that. You have a rush, don't you? You've landed zero arts. You've landed zero arts. You've landed zero arts. What? I don't understand. I just want to tag out. Please and thank you. All I want to do is destroy Dragon Ball there. Okay. Huh? No, that's not the play. Let's go for a blast. Okay, Vegeta? Man, Trunks, you are doing everything here. Wow, I am proud of you. Vegeta, get the snipe. I'll bring in Trunks here, but if I get caught, I'm gonna lose them. Okay, well. Let's throw this. Not too bad. 
You got a Vegeta support. Please don't tell me sidestep. Fuck! Hey, you wanna go for a blast? I love it. That is not a blast, my friend. You gonna pop main or you gonna rush? What's happening? I mean, he didn't pop main. Okay. Well. Trunks? Can I bring you back? No. Yeah, that was a little bit of a droids match. To be fair, this game isn't fair. So when I use a trash tier unit, I'm glad my crutch can carry me all the way the fuck through. Thank you. Trunks did tank the first match at least. He did nothing the second match, he did nothing the third match, but he did tank the first match. Maybe we'll see some output. I doubt it, but I do want to use him for tanking as he is a defense type. I'm coping very hard, but if a unit doesn't do anything, what the fuck do you want me to do? You think I can fix a unit? I can't fix anything. I just use them how they are. If I can help them, I'm just Zenkai buffing him. Sure, doesn't mean it's going to be fixed. As you can tell, he is useless to even bring in. Units do too much nowadays, but I think that's very apparent. I think everyone knows that already. But we'll try to use them a little bit more. Apologies for the Android showcase, but what'd you expect? You saw a future. What'd you really think was coming? A fucking trunk showcase? Come on. What do you think the thumbnail is? That's not trunks. Cross that out. It's the Androids. Every every video is the Androids. Future is the only tag. Remember that. They're on it. Trunks is not. He ain't from the future. He does nothing. He's useless. Shitty ending of the future arc, by the way. Trunks. Hmm. Okay. Thankfully that happened. Okay. Thankfully that happened. What? Okay. Luis is not back. <laughs> I wish he just auto dodged. <gasps> you have covered all. There's no point to go to joints. Well, Trunks, it's time. You're not taking much. Why would you? What? Why would you tag out? <laughs> For a color advantage, why'd you leave? I, I don't know where else to go. I'm scared. <laughs> I want my green card. Trunks, that's all you're good for. Spawning me a green card for my droids. You just did a blue card. You don't spawn a blue! None of your team spawns a blue! Fuck, you got two blue cards up your ass! Now here we go. Rush time. What do you want me to do there? Where's the ball? Where are you? You were moved. Not by me. How do you have two blues when no one spawns blues on his team? Did someone tell me? Someone tell me the math. No one spawns blues. He had a blue back to back. Joys don't spawn blue on tag out, do they? Pretty sure they don't. Maybe they do. I don't fucking know. They're so broken. They do too many things. They do everything. And this is good stuff, though. Could you leave me alone? Is that a thing you can do here? Thank you. I appreciate it. The big concern to leave me the fuck alone this match. Big fan. Ten! Now this bozo ass wheeze comes in. If only I could count to ten, I'd be in such a better spot. No, my dumb fucking stupid ass can't count to ten. And I had a green card coming. Vegeta's dead. Vegeta's dead. My arm hurts already. Been out too long today. I was in the sun for two seconds. It hurts. Goodbye, Vegeta. You have no vanish now. No, no, I need more no vanish. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. I can't. I have to swap. I don't know what to do. 
think I live that. No, I don't. Why do I think I live that? What a fucking idiot. He used both his covers, I believe. He didn't even realize that. Yeah. MUI brain! Well, that's not a blue card, so no, the choice don't spawn a blue card. So how the fuck did he have two blue cards? I can't drop here. Well, here he did that one, Chief. I think fuck I'm catching you, but... Mm, this is not ideal, is it? Oh, yes it is! A double rush, you say? Full health, a double rush. I am a fucking moron! Do you have main? Do you have main? Do you have main? Got a green card. Do you have main? I don't remember. Get out! Goodbye! Rage Trunks! There are no purples! How do I use Rage Trunks? Probably a bad time to do this video for Rage Trunks, but... I don't know. What do you want me to do? One of these matches, Trunks will land more than one card, and I'll be very happy. I don't think it's this one, but maybe, uh, one of them. Maybe. That was a lot of initiation going on there. I'm very proud of you. Oh my god, he's going to land two cards. On G4, who has big cut. Alright, well. Sub count up! Gaming! Backdash there. Interesting. Oh! You would think going quickly there is a dumb play because last time you went quickly. But I guess it was a smart play. Yeah, it was a smart play. Yeah, I just figured that out in my head. And here it comes. Just did a green and you have no green spawners. This is the shit I'm talking about. He just did one. Where does the other one come from? I don't know. Who, who knows? He doesn't know. Of course you PV. <laughs> uh, amazing drop. Wow, look at mid G4 looking like a half usable unit. Crazy. I took going up against Rage fucking Trunks for him to do this. Congratulations, G4. Really a Chad for real, for real. Oh my god. Wow. That was really close. Thank you so much for the two combo rush. Into that. I can't complain. I've been double rushing. It's almost like I have a 2v3. I don't know! I don't know. He has a 2v3 too. Well, 2v2, I guess, because he has G4, the fucking dog shit defensive menace. But nonetheless, get a little bit pissed. I wish I could use the actual unit. That's all. Maybe one match. Sound like a fucking turret gun in my ear. My god. 
Did you notice he crit? I couldn't tell. Firstly, I, I, I can't tell. Swap? Are you... Are you high? On crack? Why would you not swap? Chunks! I want something this match. SOMETHING! I can't get anything here. Gonna swap. Oh, well I got some damage. Just did a green card. How do I have a second green card? Who the fuck knows? Legends doesn't know. I just did a green card. I imagine he knew. Match. I should be able to clutch this out. Clutch. It's a 3v1. Wrap this up. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just here, existing. Don't mind me. Psychopath, full screen strike me. Oh, it's the high star in the line. Pretty sure it's like a 13 star. Get some healing. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I want to go back to the movie theater and watch Superhero. I don't want to play. <laughs> Where'd the ball go? There you are. Um, I mean, I don't recommend using the Strunks. If you can't really tell, he's not doing anything. But, uh, uh, he's better than maybe Yellow Zen Kaigoku Black. Probably, right? That That's a W. Um... Free cell? No, that, that's all right. Free trunks? No, I mean that, that's okay. Who else? Maybe EX trunks, the base one one. He's better than him, right? Uh, I think. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty pretty confident in that. Is there any other yellows that are future that I'm missing? Puddle. Puddle's probably better. Puddle probably tanks equivalent, if not a little bit worse than this guy, actually. Without a green card. With a green card, probably better, but... On cover, this guy probably tanks equivalent. Which is good! They both give support to allies. I mean... It's basically the same unit. Puddle and raised chunks. They're basically the same unit. Just use this guy if you don't have Puddle. Simple. The Puddle fix. Please stop hitting things. Thank you, Ball. From the top, civil practice for paralegals in New York State. Okay. If one were to go back far enough, we would find that if one suffered a loss due to... Oh, you can't. You can see my face. Okay. Uh, due to someone else's fault that... Wait, what? There was not much that could be done about it. That's pretty bad for the first sentence of the entire book. Why are you not killing? You suck, Mr. Androids. Wow. Tier 2. The person who suffered the loss, if they considered themselves big enough and bad enough, could try to seek remuneration for their loss. That's not a word. For their losses for the transgressor. Uh, unfortunately, they could suffer more loss if they turned out to be as big and bad as they not as big as bad as they thought. Oh, you tricked me there. You're this petty. You are so sad that you LF someone that's not even playing the game. You are so pathetic. I'm sorry. Just had to cut myself off there. As we continue reading. Uh, we will read this entire page, then we will cut this. Uh, we are we are not playing. We are, we are reading. We are learning today. Again, uh, law. Uh, this is before I uh, <laughs> dropped out of college. My first semester with this book. I got an A in the class. I can't even say the first fucking word of the first paragraph, so... Yes, gaming. Uh, in time, in merry old England, a court system was developed. 
This court system, oh sorry, this court system would serve as a place where wrongs could be righted. However, it was not always clear who was wrong and who was right. That's court. It pretty much depended on the judge. Um, the judge. It was often a difficult decision. In addition, how could a person know what to do when a situation arose which had, which had to be dealt with? That ended with a period, not a question mark. How would it, that's a question. How could a person know? That's a question. Anyways, what eventually developed was the concept of case law. Oh, this is before law exists. Oh my god, it makes a lot of sense now. So what with that? Why is this coming out with the socket of the binding? That is, when a court made a decision on a set of facts that was recorded. Hmm, case law. Other courts would then tend to follow those decisions unless it had been overturned by a higher court. That is gaming. Of course, if a higher court had decided on the matter, the lower court was required to follow the higher court's decision. Yes. Yes. Then, when a person had a particular problem, he could read the prior case law dealing with the same or similar facts and decide what should be done. These concepts, oh god, uh, eventually led to the legal preset, pre pre precepts? What? It's not precept, it's precepts. Okay, referred to as res judicata and stare decisis. That is how you say it. It's not stare, it's stare. It's S-T-A-R, it's stare decisis. I learned this. You can't tell, but I learned this. I went on a fucking trip to like some big court office in like upstate or I don't know where I went. I went somewhere. It was something, not upstate, somewhere up, up there. The former means that once a claim has been decided, the same plaintiff slash plaintiffs cannot bring the same claim with the same set of circumstances against the same defendant. So you need new evidence. Ah, ah, look at us. Okay, okay. We're on page one. We're already teaching the book. <laughs> Genius over here. Drop out. Uh, the latter refers to issues that are litigated and decided within a claim. Do you want to write this down? Once an issue has been decided, that issue should not be allowed to be re-litigated, retried. You can't retry the same issue by a party who participated in the original case. So you can't retry the same case if you participated in the same exact case. It has to update. Like, we need an update of this dog shit PvP system. Mark use old units and actually uh, enjoy it. Update, update, big new stuff. This is the common law. A further discussion of these two legal practice or principles can't read will appear later in this text. Now that is cool. Um, we're really gonna get through two pages here next. I, I'm enjoying that. Um, you all left me when I wasn't playing. Next and last match. Trunk sucks. I ain't gonna fucking play him. You play him. I ain't doing it. I give up. I'm reading the book. Sorry. Alrighty, last match. And now we can finish chapter, not chapter, page two and page three. It's gonna be a long one, guys. Uh, we'll go over a Trunk's overview. Oh. I'm gonna break my fucking mouth if I can't speak. I'm gonna go over a Trunk's overview at the end of this uh, perfect match here. So... Common law was brought with the settlers from England ooh, okay, and became the basis of the laws of the United States and most of the states. In fact, it remains the law unless it has been superseded by a statute. A statute. Okay, will they tell you? Do they tell you? Statutes such... I'm getting rushed. Fuck you! Why are you rushing? I'm not here! <laughs> oh my god! Get fucked! Dickhead! Now I'm gonna click a card. Oh, please. Yeah, fuck you! You didn't think I'd come back! Yeah! Look at us popping off. Back to reading. Sorry, more important than this dumb shit here. Um, where was I? In fact, yeah, something. Statute? Yes. Statutes such as the Civil Practice Law and Rules of New York State are essentially modifications of the common law. If I get fucking LF again, I'm gonna lose it. It's not LF. It's fine. Um... We still have- God, there's so much to read. We still have common law. The statutes are subject to review by the courts. The courts determine that statutes are violate- Wait, what? Oh, vo wait. Violative. <laughs> I'm not this stupid, I promise. <laughs> of the federal or state constitution. If a court finds that the state- or, 
that the statute violates the Constitution. I can't fucking read! The Constitution, that law, may be struck down until and unless a higher court determines otherwise. The courts also serve to determine how the law is to be interpreted in relation to a given set of facts. Yeah, I did this for like two and a half years. I'm already falling asleep. I I'm glad I stopped. I also did psychology with it, so you must know. You know, that. Yeah, great. Um, this court made law then serves as the guide as to how similar facts will be dealt with. Thus, a statute does not stand alone. It carries with it all the case law relative to that statute. In this text, we will be dealing with the statute. What? There's many statutes. What do you mean, the statute? The fuck? Okay. Your instructor may determine that a case reading and briefing will serve to assist in understanding why we do what we do in civil procedure. Please, at this point, remove any ideas you have uh, may have about the law. Modern media has not served that well in providing accurate information about the law. False. I actually got my uh, past information from uh, page one here, <laughs> the scam page, clearly, um, of where uh, the re-litigating, you need new evidence. I actually got that from a show. False. Incorrect. Thank you. You're trying to lie to me. <laughs> um, anyways, let's continue to do this lie chapter, or sorry, paragraph. As you may move through this course, some of those ideas may be validated, but some may- Oh, okay. Well, I'll shut up now. May be entirely wrong. You need to approach this initial study of law with the willingness to change the wrong concepts. Change the future. Just like Chunk. See? Look at him. With his ugly ass thumbs up there. It's great. What is and is not. Civil procedure, we're still on the first page, is using the government- Wait. Government. It's- Tell me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Government it. Courts to settle a dispute about a private matter. A dispute may uh, have arisen between two or more persons, persons and companies, persons and government or companies, and government or any mixture of these. The courts exist as an impartial forum to peaceably resolve these disputes. It's probably not that peaceful as don't people get like threatened like even civil cases like oh you go into uh witness protection i'll fucking murder you like it does tv shows it told me media might not be wrong it told me it might be wrong so i don't know this book has to teach me we will learn together guys we will go through this entire book i've done it already oh my god there's questions at the back <laughs> we're gonna do that together guys don't worry eventually one day page three even though all parties to the dispute may not be happy with the results, justice has been satisfied. Well, isn't that subjective? I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. The person bringing the matter court is generally referred to as the plaintiff. Thank you. Court uh, TV taught me that one. The plaintiff. There's also a defendant. See? True. Um, the person against who the claim is brought, referred to as the defendant, it is up to the plaintiff to decide if she or he even wants to bring a court action. No matter how egregious the wrong, in civil actions, the plaintiff makes a decision whether to proceed or not. Defendants may be found liable. In that case, they are required to follow judgment of the court. This will not cause them to be imprisoned or pay a fine. However, they may become subject to their, uh, losing their freedom. That's tough or being otherwise sanctioned for certain improper conduct related to civil actions, particularly if they resist the judgment. Wait, what? Wait, what? This, if you don't go to court, you won't go to get imprisoned, but you will lose their freedom? So what, what does that mean? I, do you like become like their servant? I, I don't, Def that may fail like that court are required to follow judgment of the court. This will not cause them to be imprisoned or pay a fine. However, this may they may become subject to losing their freedom. It it's worded shitty, right? It says you won't go to prison, then it says you'll lose your freedom. So what the fuck happens to me? If I don't go to court and pay my fine, what the fuck happens? Do I die? I mean I'd have freedom, technically, till I'm dead. I guess. The fuck? Okay. Yeah. 
Law is a scam. That's a joke, please. One of the first things a student has to do is recognize... Oh, the match is still there. Uh, the difference between criminal and uh, civil actions. Yes. Contrary description in the above paragraph, criminal law does not have a party... Wait, does not have as a party the person who has been wronged. Okay. The victim of a crime is not the plaintiff. The plaintiff in a criminal case is the people of the state of New York and or any state you are in. The victim is merely another witness to the crime. That is why a district attorney may proceed with a criminal prosecution without the victim's consent. Defendants in criminal actions are being charged with a crime. Upon conviction, they may serve time in prison, pay a fine, or both. That's tough. Civil and criminal proceedings are separate and distinct from each other. This is civil practice. Why are you telling me about what criminal things happen? I do not care. I am studying civil. I was going to be civil. This is not civil. I'm telling me about criminal. A civil proceeding may be instituted. Oh, wait. Yeah, I read that right. If Even if there is or has been a criminal proceeding. So you could have a criminal and a civil proceeding for the same case. So one's for money and one's for charges. Obviously, it's not the same people suing for the same thing. Yes, you could have either or. It's wild stuff. It really is a, you know, system there. The reverse is also true. The exact same conduct that makes an act a crime may also be a civil wrong. For instance, the criminal charge of assault is also the civil wrong of battery. Oh god, it goes to the next page. I did not prepare for this. The district attorney's brothers decides whether to uh, lay a charge of assault. The victim may choose whether or not to become a plaintiff if a civil action. Why would you not? You get free money if you win. Like, what the fuck? I mean, you'll lose money, but like, you get money. Oh, uh, we're on page four. We are really going hard there. Let me just look at a question at the end here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, now, I'm in, now I'm into this, you know, before I dropped out. Or after, rather. Okay. If you guys could answer this at the end, um, whoever makes it here, just answer the question with A, B, C, or D um, as the answers. I don't want to be too easy one here. Um, which party's attorney? Wait, what document? Huh? Wait, what? Context, where'd you go? Con context? Hello? Oh my god, there's an answer box. I need that. Okay, wait. All the fun. <laughs> Why does it tell me state and country locations? Okay, the court has jurisdiction unless a law says it does not In is a definition of a subject matter jurisdiction b anti-matter jurisdiction c general jurisdiction and d limited jurisdiction the question once again the court has jurisdiction unless a law says it does not is a definition of that's so obvious wait the answer is i'm not going to say it but like the answer is in the question where the fuck are the answers i just saw them Oh, there it is. It's a question 16. Yeah. Yeah, that's so obvious. I don't know. If you guys get it wrong, you're dumb. And you don't know law. I'm an expert, clearly. That's a joke. I don't know anything. Rage Chunk sucks. Don't use them. Good overview of the last match. See you guys in the next one.